a standard screwdriver, a 20 Torx screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, wire cutters, a razor knife, a two inch hole saw, a tape measure, and a cordless drill. To unpack the dishwasher, use the razor knife to cut the straps in plastic. Cut an X on the top of the unit and on the back right edge cut down to the wooden skid. Remove the plastic carefully. You may have to lean the dishwasher to release the plastic from underneath. Remove the masonite wood from the top of the unit and reveal the toe kick and insulation on top of the dishwasher. Not all models will have the insulation. Do not throw this away. Remove the styrofoam. To remove the skid under the dishwasher, cut the big zip tie that is located on the back of the skid. While standing at the back of the unit, tilt back and lift. Once the dishwasher has been moved into the kitchen, open the door and remove any packing material that is visible. Also remove the using care packet. Inside the packet, there are items needed to install the dishwasher. There are three glide feet to help in moving the dishwasher into place without scratching the floor. An installation kit that contains the mounting screws for the cabinet and mounting screws for the door if the model is a panel ready model. Using care guide in multiple languages, English, Spanish, and French the warranty registration card, the installation guide, and some decals that are in other languages. If you are installing a D5894, you will need to install the light shielding film that is included in the packet. Remove the backing and adhere to the underside of the countertop over the controls. Viewing the back of the dishwasher, you will see the easy install components already attached to the machine. You will see the power cord, The drain hose. On the end of the drain hose you will see that the disposer boot is already attached. And also the PEX hose which is our fill hose with the 3 8 inch compression fitting. On the water line itself there is a gasket for the end of the hose. Remove it and set it aside for later. Locate the drain connection under the sink and determine which side the drain hose will need to run, to the right or to the left. If you have to go to the left, you have to reverse the direction of the drain hose by removing the gray bracket that is attached to the top of the tank on the back of the machine. Using a 20 torque screwdriver, you can remove the screw and slide to the left and remove the bracket.
Cut the zip tie and reverse the hose to go the opposite direction and secure the bracket back to the machine. Using the tape measure, measure the height of the dishwasher and then measure the opening. If you need to adjust the height of the dishwasher, loosen the lock nuts on the two front legs of the dishwasher. Bring them down to the top of the feet and adjust the legs to the desired height to slide the machine into place. Locate the water valve and the drain connection. In some homes there may be an air gap requirement. If the air gap is not being used, you will need to attach the drain line to the garbage disposal or the drain line itself. Locate the electrical connection. The drain hose should not be installed along the floor, but about 20 inches above the floor. Measure and mark a spot to cut a hole in the cabinet wall about 5 to 6 inches in front of the back wall using a 2 inch hole saw. Cut the hole using the drill and hole saw. If the dishwasher is too tall once you have adjusted the legs, you can gain some more space by removing the top fill strip. Open the door and remove the racks. Using a 20 torque screwdriver, remove the screws from under the top edge of the tank. Remove the strip Next, the side fill strips need to be moved down on the sides. Locate the screws on the sides that hold the strips in place and remove them. Remove the fill strip and take the protective cover off of the fill strip. There are two sets of holes on the fill strips where it attaches to the unit. Line the fill strip up with the top of the dishwasher and attach the fill strips. While the fill strips are off the machine, it would be a good time to peel the protective film off of the edges of the door. Do not remove it all the way yet. The door should stay in any position that you put it in. It should not fall open or slam shut. If the door needs an adjustment, you can remove the springs and adjust them. Grab the spring towards the front of the dishwasher and pull and lift. This will release the spring from the hinge. Both ends of the spring can be turned to adjust the tension. To add tension, such as the door falling open, turn the ends clockwise. To reduce tension, turn counterclockwise. Replace the springs and test the door. Make as many adjustments as you need to get the door to balance. Using the white glide feet that were provided in the use and care packet, Lift a corner of the dishwasher and place the white glide feet under the dishwasher leveling legs. Plug the dishwasher in and run the hoses to their respective locations. First the drain hose, then the PEX water line. Decide which mounting brackets on the dishwasher you want to use to secure the dishwasher to the cabinets and then carefully slide the dishwasher into place under the counter. Take the drain hose and attach it to the connection under the sink for draining. It could be an air gap or a disposal or a drain line connection. Attach the drain hose to the air gap using the smallest connection supplied, the one half inch connection, secure with a clamp. If you need to extend the drain hose to 
reach a connection that is too far away, use a brass splice connector to attach more hose to reach where you need it to go. Cut the hose to the proper size and attach the splice by using clamps. Connecting to the garbage disposal is the most common installation. The largest connection on the hose is needed for this. Cut the hose at the 7th 8 inch size and clamp to the drain connection on the side of the disposal. Make sure the plug in this connection has been removed if this is a new disposal. Secure with a clamp. Connect the PEX hose water line to the 3 8 inch compression fitting under the sink. If the fitting is a flare fitting, you will need to supply a union that is a 3 8 inch compression on one side and a flare on the other. Turn on the valve and check for leaks. Adjust the front feet to make sure the dishwasher is level. You can adjust the rear leg on some models by using the front adjust nut on the front of the dishwasher. Using the standard extension for tips, place the extension over the nut and gently turn clockwise to raise the rear of the dishwasher or counterclockwise to lower the rear of the dishwasher. You can visually see the dishwasher is level by looking at the trim strips in relation to the cabinet. They should be flush. Some models will have extra insulation shipped to attach on the back of the tow kick to help reduce noise. Separate the felt on the perforation and peel and stick onto the back of the tow kick. Make sure the felt is between the holders that slide over the brackets on the face of the dishwasher guard plate. Adjust the toe kick bracket on the dishwasher to line up with the toe kick area of the cabinets. Line up the holders on the back of the toe kick with the brackets and slide the toe kick over the brackets. Enclosed with the use and care packet, you will find a small bag with rubber plugs, two screws, and spacers. Open the door and remove the upper basket. This will make mounting of the dishwasher easier. As we have shown previously, the dishwasher can be mounted to either the side of the cabinet or to the underside of the counter, depending on the countertop surface or the amount of wood available to attach the screws to. We have chosen to use the solid mounting brackets in this installation. Using the cordless drill, carefully attach the screw to the cabinet through the hole in the bracket. Using some lubricant, such as liquid soap, coat the rubber plug to make it easier to insert into the hole to cover the screw. Remove the remaining protective cover on the front of the dishwasher. It is important to check the dishwasher for correct operation after the installation has been completed. Turn the power on using the power button on the left side of the control panel. Press the program button to make sure the buttons work. Start a rinse and hold program to test for water intake, draining, and leaks. If you do not find all the information you need in this video, Please refer to the installation guide provided with the product. Not all dishwasher installations will fit this application. Our customer care group can be reached at 800-898-1879.